This screencast covers the material of Module 4, Lesson 28, where we write equations and word problems that correspond with tape diagrams. In some cases, we'll have expressions and we'll need to create tape diagrams. These are all based upon fraction division. Let's look at the first problem. Create and solve a division story problem about 5 meters of rope that is modeled by the tape diagram below. Well, let's look at the tape diagram. We have a hole of a 5, and it's being broken down into quarters or fourths. We don't know how many. So let's set up our expression. We have 5, and that's being divided into fourths. So how many fourths are in 5? Well, we know that uh, there are four fourths in each one, so we have five ones, so five times four equals twenty, so the answer is twenty. Let's think about a problem. Well, pretty basic here. I'll just say Bob has five meters of rope. He cuts it into pieces one-fourth meter long. And now, how many pieces will he have? It's best to keep these problems fairly simple. I see kids get carried away, at least in my classroom, with these. Um, so again, just keep it simple, get to the point, get the problem done, don't try to make anything too elaborate. Let's go on and do another. Again we have create, create and solve a story problem, about one-fourth a pound of olives that is modeled by the tape diagram below. This may be a little bit different from the tape diagrams that you've seen. I know in my class I usually uh, show this kind of problem using shading. So I'm, I'm going to just show you what this means. Okay, we're uh, very familiar with this probably, and maybe your teacher does it differently. I'm going to shade one-fourth. In this case, they bracket one-fourth, but I'm going to shade it. And we're going to break it into how many parts? Well, let's take a look here. That one-fourth is broken into one, two, three, four, five parts. So I'm going to take this and partition each of these fourths into five parts. Oh, I got the correct tool there. We'll do this with the rest of them as well. Okay, how many parts do we have in all? Well, let's take a look. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20 parts in all. And we're going to shade in, just double shade one of these, as is des designated by the bottom bracket with a question mark there. So what do we have here? We have um, 1 fourth divided by 5 equals, well, let's look at what we've converted that into. We've converted 1 fourth into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twelfths. So 1 fourth divided by 5 equals 5 twentieths divided by 5 equals 1 twentieth. Word problem? Uh, we could simply write something like, I like to use Bob. Bob has 1 fourth pound of almonds and decides to put that put it in five bags how many pounds of almonds are in each bag again very simple each bag Keep it simple. Uh, one more slide with a couple of examples. In this case, we don't have a tape diagram. But if we look at 3A, 
we need to uh, relate that back to our first problem where we had a whole number divided by a fraction. So like we did with number one here, we'll take our whole, bracket it, label it two. Okay, two divided by one third. And we can now take that and each one unit, each one has three one thirds, so I'll demonstrate that. And we do that with a second for our second hole as well. And we can simply count using our diagram one, two, three, four, five, six thirds. Let's do the math. We have two divided by one third equals, since every hole has three thirds and we have two holes, we have two times three, and the answer is six. And then we need to create a word problem. Well, we could do something very similar to what we did with number one. Uh, I'm not going to write them out for you. I did that with the previous two problems. But uh, that gives you an idea and you can proceed along the same line. You could talk about a rope, you could talk about a piece of pipe, or anything else that you like. And going on to B, B relates to number two, where we have a fraction divided by a whole. So let's make the tape diagram. I'm going to take it and I'm going to break it into thirds. I'm going to shade one third, or I could bracket it. I could do both. I'm going to divide it into four equal parts. I need to do that with the other ones as well, so that I know what my unit is. And then we'll double shade one of those four. And we could again bracket that and put a question mark. Again the math. One third divided by four. If we look at our diagram, we partitioned our four into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve parts, right? So how many are shaded out of twelve? It's four out of twelve. So four twelfths divided by four equals one twelfth. And again, I could uh, write the word problem. I'm, I'm not going to this time. But we could do something like uh, he has uh, one third of a, a liter of uh, water. And he pours that into four glasses, each with the same amount. How much of a liter is in each glass? Uh, as a suggestion. We could use any kind of quantity we like as long as we start with one third and break it down into four equal.